Assalamualaikum and a very good day I bid to Miss Jamie as the assessor and fellow audience. Wish you all a good in health. My name is Muhammad Ayman bin Abdul Rahman. My matrix number is 07 DTP 19F 1018. I'm a student from Polytechnic Kota Kinabalu and today I will present to you about a car brake system. Let's start. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, true, bet that up for the track. We gon' take it to the top, and that's the truth. Truth hurts. <laughs> oh yeah. If you broke, but you still pimpin', drinkin', smokin', then say, oh yeah, oh yeah. If you ballin', buyin' bottles, then say, oh yeah, my man. If you pimpin', you say, oh yeah. So, what was the most fun do you have in a car? Enjoying music, going fast, or sometimes hang out with friends. Now, what was the most scariest thing do you have in a car? Spin out, hitting a wall, or losing it? On the other hand, we get a full of fun. But in the other hand, it's just a horrifying thing. I remember the first time I got a driving license. The driver instructor said, always put your feet in a brake. So listen, for example, the mighty Ford Mustang. It has 460 horsepower, but it weighs uh, two tons. Imagine that. Imagine that on how will it come to stop. Remember, great power comes great responsibility. We don't need any detriment situation. Basically, car has four brakes in each wheels. Two in front, which is uh, these brakes, and two at the back is a uh, drum brakes. So let's take a closer look. Hello and what's up everyone, my name is Brian Alexius Mansin. I'm from DTP. So, the unique feature here is, a disc produced with high carbon have optimal thermal conductivity. Therefore, allowing the disc to run cooler and as a result, ensure more consistent brake performance. Unlike the normal type disc brake, a high carbon brake disc is less likely to distort which means less performance related problem. A high carbon improves the thermal behavior of the disc giving better stability and increased resistance to distortion and thermal cracking. So the last one is actually my favorite one. High carbon disc also helps to provide noise and jitter free performance. So yeah, that's all for the future of a high carbon brake disc. Thank you. Rotors, pads, caliper, brake lines, and brake fluids is the fundamental thing in a car brake kit. Start with the brake kit component. Rotors, pads, and calipers is following by measurement, which is length times width times thickness. Upgrade pad can be made with more heat tolerant materials. And bigger pads also dissipate easier with the larger surface area. But in order a bigger pads, you need a bigger calipers. Next is the braking lines, which channeling the brake fluids. The normal braking lines are often soft, durable, and flexible rubber, which is great for daily driving. The brake fluid. The brake fluid is a hydraulic fluid which is by its viscosity. It is used to transfer force into pressure and to amplify braking force. It is necessary for a comfort braking. The second thing I want to talk is about the quality. Brakes quality depend on the material. For example, this brake. This brake is usually made from cast iron for the pads or also known as shoes 
is semi-metallic pet. Last but not least, it's about a price. If you have a tight budget, try to use a normal brake. But if you have a bigger budget, just continue to a high brake performance. Price for a normal car, it is between 88 ringgit to 550 as for one set. And lastly, is extraordinary. Car brakes has venting. It helps to release the heat in every slot. And secondly, is surface area. For some performance brakes, the surface has different lines for a decent braking. And now, we have done features, we have done characteristics. What does leave us? The function. Assalamualaikum everyone, I hope you in the good health at this time. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Fadi Tresno bin Ismadi. My matrix number is 07 DTP 19F 1017. Now I will explain about function for our product that we choose is car brake system. So everybody is already know that a purpose of brake is stopping a moving vehicle with a just a simple step on the brake pedal. With but with a gentle step on the brake pedal will decrease it motion from moving faster to slower this brake pedal also when applied will turn on the red light at the back of the car to tell the driver at the beha at behind you that you going to decrease speed and to prevent any car accident other function on the brake like ABS anti-lock brake system is modulate the brake pressure along the wheels allowing the driver to control and maintain speed this is always used for the on on the high speed car or the slippery roads this system absorb the kinetic energy of the vehicle and turn it to heat energy in order to stop or decrease the speed of the vehicle in electric brake an electric current force a magnet to apply the brake. Handbrake is also known as a parking brake that use a mechanical lever that allow the vehicle into emergency stop in case of the brake failure. This handbrake is totally separate from the vehicle hydraulic brake system. The major function of the brake booster is to increase the power of the pedal. Without a brake booster, the driver the driver will need uh, extra energy and exercise to put pressure to slow down the vehicle. Thank you so much. That is just for me. Hello, my name is Muhammad Hazik bin Hussein. I'm from DTP 3A. My matrix number is 07 DTP 19F1030. Today, I will present to you about the uh, strength and the weakness of this brake. Okay, the firstly, I will present a, a strength of the disc brake first. Firstly, the disc brake is a better heat dissipation. Okay, when the brakes are constantly pressed, they will not cause the brakes to malfunction and brake failure. The second is the disc brake system responds quickly. Okay. The brakes, the disc brake system can perform perform high frequency braking action, which is more in line with the requirements of the ABS, ABS system. Okay, what is ABS system? Okay, ABS system is a anti lock braking system. That is a piece of safety equipment that prevents the wheels of a vehicle from locking up under emergency, panic, or harsh braking conditions. Okay, this system, an advanced braking system which prevents unexpected skidding of the vehicle on slippery roads. 
It prevents the wheel from locking up and provides better control on braking of vehicle. The the last is uh, it can change the big rotor size. Okay, I will talk about the rotor first. What is rotor? Rotors. The rotor is are the circular discs that are connected to each wheel, to front, to front two and two in the back. Rotor are designed to turn motion into thermal energy. As the calipers squeeze your brake pads together, the rotor's large surface area creates friction. Okay. Now is the advance will you increase the size of the rotor size. The larger rotor rotors, the larger rotors size is not only provide more power but they also put less strain on your forearms and shoulders since you don't need to pull the brakes as hard keeping your pressure for longer and allowing you to ride more actively when you change rotor size of your brakes this allows you brake this allows your brake to dissipate heat much more effectively okay that this is that is that is a uh, strength of the disc brake now i will present to you about the weakness of the disc brake okay the one weakness of the disc brake is the overheating okay one of the most common brake disc defect is overheating in case of overheating the disc temperature reach critical values that is that will causing the brake pad to slip on the disc and reducing the efficiency of the brake system to a minimum. Okay, the main cause of the overheating is the brake mechanism failure, incorrect brake install pad installation, usage of brake disc and pads after the expiry of their service life, brake disc deformation, low quality of brake disc and pads, jamming of the brake caliper guide pins. That is the main cause of the malfunction, the overheating that uh, overheating and that malfunction your brakes. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Muhammad Sharul bin Ismail. I'm from DTP 3A, and my number trick is 07 DTP 19F. 1034 so today i will talk about a recommended brake so for me what i recommend is there are two type of uh, brake so for uh, the first type is oem or we call it original equipment manufacturer the second one is aftermarket or uh, what we call it uh, they design the brake by themselves so we will talk about one by one so well, we will talk about OEM. OEM is just like we know the OEM then to be more expensive but they are easier to choose uh, usually and usually are back by a uh, one year warranty but aftermarket part are equal uh, to or better than the OEM part or if the price seems to good or to be true it's good but beware of poor quality part while buying because aftermarket they sometimes uh, they lie to a customer then they uh, sell the low quality of brake OEM also stand for original equipment make the future it means the part are made by the the same company that make the vehicle so aftermarket part are produced by a different part company and are often designed to be compatible with as many make and or model as possible so we know that uh, OEM and aftermarket is so different not so different but they are just I think uh, aftermarket and OEM OEM is better because OEM is original from the uh, from the shop so uh, what uh, where, what break uh, from OEM and what break uh, for, from aftermarket As for OEM we can uh, give you example just like uh, ATE brake uh, 
Otto Zipperman Akebono uh, Shanshin and Hela Repgit uh, Pegit Hela Pegit That's uh, the break uh, from OEM So from aftermarket we have a few also uh, Just like uh, SSBC We have Brembo We have also Wailwood uh, The Wailwood also the aftermarket break And TRW that already famous in Malaysia I think I think it's uh, famous in Malaysia So I think the best uh, I recommend is Two of them best But uh, the best one I think I should recommend to you The OEM OEM brake All the OEM brake Because they are original from the manufacturer So Or uh, so thanks